Hello students, welcome to chemistry lab. So today's lab we're going to talk about uh, the percent yield of carbon dioxide from a reaction between baking soda and vinegar. Uh, before we can uh, start the lab you will need to write a balanced equation between baking soda and vinegar. So please go ahead and write that equation and you will also need to know the molar masses of baking soda and carbon dioxide. So please uh, stop the video here and uh, write down a balanced equation for the reaction between vinegar and baking soda and write down the molar masses of baking soda and carbon dioxide. So here I have everything that I'm going to need for this lab. So I have some vinegar in a beaker. I have a measuring cylinder or a graduated cylinder. I have some baking soda on a piece of paper. I have my digital balance for measuring masses. I have a spatula for transferring the baking soda from one place to the other. And then I have this uh, additional sheet of paper. This is what I will use to find the measure, uh, to measure the uh, mass of baking soda. So once we have everything that we need, uh, we can actually get started and start making some measurements. To start the experiment, we will uh, take our vinegar and pour about 30 ml into uh, the graduated cylinder. So it does not have to be exactly 30, but we do not want to be too far off from 30 ml either. Okay, so I'm just uh, pouring the vinegar into the graduated cylinder. And uh, I have about 30 ml. And as I said, the exact amount of vinegar in the measuring cylinder does not really matter okay so next what I want to do is I want to take this uh, measuring cylinder and I want to find the measure the mass of the measuring cylinder with the vinegar in it so I have turned on my digital meter and I placed my vinegar with the measuring cylinder on the digital meter uh, this is mass m1 this is 68.45 or 68.47 okay so it will fluctuate so we will just say 48.46 as the value of m1 so m1 is 48 point uh, 68.46 gram next i will take this uh, piece of paper and i've placed it on the digital meter and with the paper on the digital meter i will hit this uh, tear so what this will do is it will reset the uh, digital meter to zero. So with that set at zero, now I'm going to take some of this uh, baking soda, use a spatula and put it right on top of this uh, paper. So I want to have about 1.5 grams. And again, the exact amount is not really important, but I just need to know how much baking soda I'm starting with. So as soon as long as I have it somewhere close to 1.5 I will be happy so we have 1.44 grams so that is uh, that is good so we have m2 is equal to 1.43 grams okay so please make sure that you write that down m2 is equal to 1.43 or 1.44 so it's holding steady at 1.44 grams we'll just take it at 1.44 grams so we have our baking soda and we have our vinegar and we found it masses m1 and m2 so you can add them together when you add them together that would be your initial mass so this is the mass of the reactants plus the mass of the graduated cylinder but we will have the mass of the graduated cylinder also in the part of our uh, products so that doesn't really need to be subtracted so m initial is m1 plus m2 and now i'm going to take this baking soda and very slowly uh, pour it into the vinegar okay so you do not want to just just dump it in you want to make sure that the baking soda goes into the vinegar uh, at a slow rate otherwise uh, there will be a lot of effervescence and you will have a, a spill so that is something that we do not want to have because that will uh, cause us to lose some of our reactants okay so uh, you just want to make sure 
that you put the baking soda in the vinegar uh, gradually and don't just dump it in. So you can see that there's a brisk effervescence and uh, it almost rose up to the top of the graduated cylinder. So this is something that you want to avoid. So you do not want to put all of the baking soda in at the same time. Now if you come closer, you can actually see that there's a reaction going on in there and you might also be able to hear the popping sound. So we'll mix the mixture, so shake it. That helps the reaction to speed up. So in the graduated cylinder, the reaction is now complete. There's no more effervescence. So I can now find the mass of the graduated cylinder with the vinegar and the baking soda. And uh, the mass is 69.22 grams. So this is M final. Okay, so 69.22 grams. That will be your M final. Okay, so earlier you found that the mass of baking soda you had was 1.44 grams. Uh, using that and the molar mass of the baking soda and carbon dioxide, you can calculate the theoretical yield of this reaction. And then if you subtract uh, the final mass from the initial mass that we had, uh, that will give you the actual yield. And now you can calculate the uh, percent yield, which is equal to actual yield divided by theoretical yield times 100. So I hope that uh, you enjoyed this lab and uh, this was an easy lab to find how much percent of the actual of the uh, theoretical yield of carbon dioxide did we actually get.